Hey everyone, happy Monday. Welcome to episode number 35 of Ask Me Monday. I'm Vicki Hell. So I'm super excited today. Um, well, first of all, before I tell you what I'm excited about, I realized that I left you guys in a total lurch. Um, I started the giveaway for We Garter Stitch two weeks ago, not realizing that the next Monday was a holiday, so I wouldn't be having uh, doing a live stream, so I didn't announce the uh, winner. So I'd like to do that now. So the winner of the signed copy of my book, We Garter Stitch, is, and I wrote it down, and where did I put it? This is a little anticlimactic. Jean Dissey, D-I-S-E. So Jean is a grandmother. She's expecting a new grandbaby, plus she's got two or three more um, on top of that. So there's gonna be all kinds of knitting cute baby stuff on the way. Um, so congratulations, Jean. I will try and reach out to you um, through Facebook to get your address. If not, please contact me through my website. And congratulations to those that won. I had another book contest going on at the same time through my newsletter. But if you do not uh, subscribe to, please do so, because I'm going to start doing, not only is it a good way to sort of it like kind of organizes and collates everything that's going on, um, but also I'm going to do some other giveaways and that kind of thing. So if you go to vickihowell.com, um, there's like a little pop-up that says join the email list. So I have been woefully neglectful that if, if we're doing true confessions of social media, um, I have completely neglected gathering an email list and kind of humiliated to even <laughs> tell you that. Um, so I have like three followers. So thank you. Um, many of which I'm realizing are probably here right now because you ladies are so awesome and so supportive. Um, so, oh, thank you. Selena said my hair and makeup are on point. Given I just got back from um, Pilates and just threw stuff on, that's extra awesome. Oh, also my friend Candy, I don't know if you guys can tell at all. I'm going to reach in. I don't even know if it's plugged in. So, hi, there's my thumb. Um, my friend Candy shared with me that she got, uh, that she added a mic to her screen stream. So I'm playing with a lavalier to see. I don't know if it sounds um, any better to you. For those of you that are regulars, you should let me know. Um, if, it's, uh, if it's not any better, then I won't deal with it. Because the likelihood of me getting through this entire stream without pulling on the cord and knocking the whole thing over are pretty, pretty slim. It may not go well, but... Um, Hopefully it, it'll sound better. So um, get the usual business out of the way. Any of you that are in the knitting or crochet industry or embroidery industry, any of the needle arts industry that will be at TNNA, that's the National Needle Arts Association Conference in DC this weekend, um, please uh, flag me down. I'll be doing a book signing at the Vogue Knitting booth, um, or is, it might be under the Soho booth. I'm not sure what what nomaker they're using um, at 11 a.m. on Saturday, but I'll be kind of around for the whole weekend, just checking it out. Um, it was kind of last minute me getting to go, so I'm looking forward to it. So I'll be in DC, DC this weekend. Um, also excited, I have a cousin that lives in Maryland, so I'm gonna spend some time with her. She's an amazing potter and watercolorist, so I'm hoping to soak up some of that creative juice while I'm there. But please, if you're gonna be there, um, oh, Melissa says it does sound better. Okay, thank you. Um, Andrea says she doesn't notice the difference. As long as it doesn't sound worse, I, I feel like we're good. Um, okay, so uh, that's that this weekend. Last weekend, thanks to those of you who uh, came out and saw me at Gage Yarn in Austin, I taught a class, Greater Garter, uh, which was just like a quick and dirty two-hour class where I taught five different skills. Um, all worked in garter stitch, but short rows, fair isle, um, garter kitchener stitch, just a few of the things, some of the stuff that I've shown you on this feed, some new things. And then after that, we did a signing. So that was super fun. If you're in Austin um, and would love to get a signed copy, I did sign a few copies and I also left some of the garments. There's a little mini trunk show, not all of them, but some of them at Gage Yarn um, up uh, in Austin, in North Austin. Well, I guess technically it's central. I live in the deep south, so anything anything uh, north of central is like north. So uh, there's that. And then, of course, it's Monday, which means tomorrow's Tuesday, which means a new episode of Craftish, my passion project, which for those of you that are not familiar, um, is a podcast that you can find through my website, on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, anywhere that you listen to these things. Um, there's probably a little podcast icon on your smartphone that you can click and search for it. 
but we have a new episode coming out on Tuesday and I'm really excited for this one because uh, probably my, if I had to choose who in the industry I wanted to be when I grow up, um, it would be my crafty spirit animal, Erica Knight, Miss Erica Knight. She's an iconic British designer and she is the guest tomorrow. So I'm really looking forward to that. And we have a couple other little small surprises for that show. So that will be super fun. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. If you didn't hear last week's, uh, a little bit off the beaten crafty path a bit, cause, um, we stepped away from sort of the physical handicrafts and spoke with a photographer, Jody Horton, um, really interesting conversation, um, just how photography works for him, his experiences shooting um, photographs of Barbara and George H.W. Bush, um, as, as well as, you know, how he, how he ended up as a food and lifestyle, like an award-winning, amazing food and lifestyle photographer. So even if photography isn't your gig, listen to the conversation, listen to all of the conversations, um, just for little bits of sort of like, creativity and and uh, inspirational nuggets. All right. So what I really want to share with you, though, is um, I'm happy, thrilled to announce, well, stop, I'm going to rewind again, again. So some of you who have been following me for years um, know that knitting and crochet are not my only crafty passions, um, although probably they're the fire that ignites most of my crafty passions. But I, uh, for years, wrote columns for PBS, craft-based columns for PBS Parents, for Kiwi Magazine, for I Love to Create, um, and then articles for publications worldwide. I used to co-host a uh, crafty wearable show called Stylicious with a bunch of other, the Austin Craft Mafia gals when that was a group. Um, my point being that I've been feeling a little disconnected from the non-knitter and crochet crafts um, in my life. And I've really been wanting to bring that into, eventually I want to bring it into YouTube too, but I've wanted to bring it into this actual feed. Um, but I also don't want to alienate um, I know that most of you are knitters and crocheters and may or may not be interested in other stuff, although I fully believe that if you're creative, you're interested in many creative things. So um, I'm rolling the dice. But I wanted to figure out how to do it, and I figured out a way, um, thanks to the help of um, Karen Scassell. I um, will now be bringing you um, a partnership with Makers Mercantile every Monday, or sorry, not every Monday, the first Monday of every month. So first Mondays with Makers Mercantile. If you're not familiar with them, they are actually an online shop. They have a physical shop just outside of Seattle, which I've been to. Um, they carry fabric, they carry embroidery kits, they carry, they have a vegan bakery, or I'm sorry, a gluten-free bakery. Um, my friend Rhonda um, is the education manager's there, manager there. She teaches all these amazing dyeing classes and they have book clubs and they carry yarn, loads and loads of yarn, a lot of needles, Addy Turbo needles and a bunch of other stuff. So really cool. But they have this beautiful website that carries all of that stuff too. So it doesn't matter if you don't live in, in Seattle or the US even, you can still check them out. And um, I went there gosh, I guess it's been a couple of months ago. And I just really, I just really dug it and fell in love with it. Um, so um, I'm teaming up with them and they are now going to be sponsoring the first Monday um, of Ask Me Monday of every month, Makers Monday, maybe we'll call it. And so I will be showing you, my demos will be um, craft-based just for this, this once a month. Um, and that can range. It'll range in all, all different kinds of um, crafts. And they've offered a special discount code for my viewers um, that expires. It'll expire before the next one. But I will be posting the show notes, but I'm going to say it now just in case I, so I don't forget later. It's Vicky, V-I-C-K-I-E, 606. So basically just my name and the date. That's for 15% off of anything. And they carry haiku, yarn. Um, they carry like Zara Ball. They, they carry tons of yarn if you're into that, interested in that. Um, but also fabric, dyes, you know, notions, all kinds of cool stuff. So you can get 15% up until the 19th of this month if you use that code. What I'm going to be focusing on today, though, are these kits that I got while I was there. They're these embroidery kits. They're by um, MME Studio. What you should know about me is that I love a good theme. I love me a good theme. And so like if it's Thanksgiving, I want to be crocheting with orange and browns and fall colors. If it is, you know, if it's Christmas, I want to be knitting a Christmas tree. If I'm traveling, I like to do something related to the travels. So while I was in Seattle, I came across these at Makers Mercantile, these two kits by 
MME Studios. And this is Mount Rainier, um, and this is the Space Needle. But she has kits for locations all over. There's a really cool roller coaster one. There's the Brooklyn Bridge. There's a ton of other, um, you know, just kind of like iconic location embroidery kits. And I just thought they were so cool. And then they have non-location ones, like this is one from their site. It's kind of a glare from my light, you can see. But I just thought this was so beautiful. And I used to embroider a lot, like a lot, a lot. Um, and I just haven't recently so I was really and it's you know it's just fun to sort of like step out of the crafty box every once in a while so um this is their site and you can also see um oh wait while well, that loads I'll show you that later okay so I ended up working on these and I, I actually finished them which is crazy that I started and finished something that wasn't work related and I just thought they were so cute I don't know I'm gonna hang them somewhere maybe as a little just a little reminder of Seattle I have some really close dear friends that live in Seattle um, that I'll always um, think about when I look at these. And then I shot a bunch of my Creative Live courses there. So it's kind of a tactile way to remember. Um, so they sell these as kits on that website and a bunch of other um, kits. And they come with um, they come with the embroidery hoop, the fabric. It's pre-printed printed with the design with the needle and the thread. So, and they're like 20 bucks, but you get 15% off. But you get 15% of anything, including yarn. Okay, but I digress. So, yes, I might hang the hoop. Somebody, uh, Suzanne, just wanted to know if 